You guys, come on in. We don't have any time to waste. It is July 13th, Saturday, and it's 2024. And one of the presidential election candidates has been allegedly hit with some type of firearms. Now, you guys, there's a lot of videos, theories, and conspiracies that have been going on around the Internet since this has just happened a few hours ago. So let's go ahead and get into it. Unbelievable. Holden, if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Unfortunately and allegedly, I heard that one person in the crowd was unalived and supposedly Mr. T allegedly has been hit in the ear as well. It appears Donald Trump may have been shot at his Pennsylvania rally. Shots were fired. He grabbed his neck as he was rushed off by Secret Service. Blood was seen around his ear. I will show you video of the incident. What happened? After Donald grabbed what looked like his neck, he was then put on the ground, covered by Secret Service. They had him down there for a little while, but then he did get back up on his feet and then fist bumped to the crowd. The identity of the shooter has not yet been revealed. As soon as I have those details, of course, I will share them with you. This is a terrible look for America. It is going to be a terrible look as we head into this election with a country that is already so divided. Um, a possible attempted assassination on one of the people running for president. I just don't even want to know where this is going to head, but I will keep you updated as I get more information on the story. It's tragic just in regards to um, this is somebody's family member. How embarrassing is this for us to look like that, for the United States to look like that? We are shooting our own people. We are shooting somebody that is supposed to be a leader of this country. And I'm not even saying who should be and who shouldn't be right now. We're not going to get into that. But I'm just saying, how does this look? We are at complete chaos. This is as bad as it gets. And actually, no, it probably isn't now that I say that. But believe yeah, once again, we're just going to kind of review these clips from many different people. So this happened in Butler, Pennsylvania. My gosh. You know, and in this shock state, we can react in many different ways. It is tragic in, in, in a way because this is a human being. This is a person. I know a lot of people do not like him and they're kind of reacting in a way where they're desensitized to um, just humanity, to being humane. But it is a person, you know what I mean? And it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. My gosh, I have so many thoughts in my mind and I have so much to say. I don't know. I don't know, guys. What is going on? They're shooting and you guys are... are... No. I'm going to talk right over this, you guys. We have more videos. I know he's in shock. He wants to look big and he wants to look strong. Okay, I understand. He put his fist up. Boom. Can't stop him. Can't hurt him. I understand it from his point of view in a way. Security shouldn't even stop and let him happen. Like, let that happen. They should have just dragged his behind off of there like this they took way too long they took way too long to drag him off of there just come on I'm, I'm just a regular human being you guys are security why am i telling y'all it's taking too long to just drag him up off of there what happened to them shields and bulletproof shields and stuff like that where is all this stuff at you 
guys, this is no joke. They just shot Trump. They cannot beat him. Now they're trying to... They just shot him. Look at this. He's okay by the looks of this next video. This is why I'm voting for this man. Look at this next video. Wait, 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 wait. Lord. This man just got shot at. He's clearly bleeding from the ear in the midst of all that chaos. He says, hold on, hold on. Fight. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's go. Okay, and that's another thing that we are afraid of with stuff like this. I mean, people are about to go crazy. People are about to go wild. I don't know what's about to happen in these streets, but I know we have a lot of different people supporting Mr. T, we have a lot of um, different cultures. We have a lot of different races supporting him. A lot of different classes supporting him. So what is about to happen? I mean, how can we even... I know there's like division, but now it's just like a mixing bowl of division. We don't know who to look out for anymore, you know? This is one man reacting to this video and he's already pumped to go to fight and how many other people are about to be right behind him and right beside him. No. Wait, 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 wait. Running that back, running back. You guys, it says Mr. T raises fist as blood drips on his ear and face. Oh my gosh. If this doesn't go down in the history books, if this doesn't have a whole chapter in the history books, I do not know what will. I have a lot to say about it. You guys know that I'm um, a theorist. So I don't want to disrespect anybody. And I'm like, we're freely just talking here, you know. But why is this looking so suspicious to me? I know everything looks suspicious to me. But no, honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest on every time I'm going to be neutral. So why is this look so suspicious? Like, first of all, it's real live firearms going off. And people are getting down real slow. But then they're also getting up when he put his fist up. They're getting back up with him. And some people have their phones out. How crazy and belligerent is this we are so desensitized that you are willing to put your life at risk so you telling me trump got shot on stage his team let's get into it him down trump gets up with blood running down his face and he starts fist pumping hyping up the crowd well that's the most american thing i've ever seen in my life what and if you look at the video seconds after you know the shots go off behind trump in the crowd no one's really going crazy or like they, they clearly know what's going on because instead of hitting the ground, they just bend down a little bit. Right. You know, they, they just they just bend down a little bit. I'm like, what? What is going on? What happened to the standard procedure of an active shooter? This dude's fist pumping. They're going crazy in the crowd. Well, this is the most that is the most. At all times that we have learned and repeated, stop, drop and roll in school. This will be the time to do it. American. It's a tough situation. It's not a joking matter. But if it was me, like me personally, I get shot on stage. Brother, I'm on Indeed.com that <laughs> night. That night, I no longer work there. I'm not really big into <laughs> politics. But now, whatever they tried to do with Trump, they did the complete opposite. You guys, let's review that. In all seriousness, something isn't adding up. I know, like I said, everybody's acting out of shock. But to me, it seems like if there is a dangerous situation, there's going to be drastic measures of you getting up out of there. There's no way you're going to be standing there recording. On top of that, the position that you are in, you are literally behind him. You are the bullseye for the person aiming in that direction. There's no way I'm going to get my phone out, unlock my phone, get the camera out, and be recording. That means my fight or flight is just not active at this point. And there's just no way the fight or flight did not activate in all these people. I'm sorry. What's going on? Like, what's happening? You can hear some voices there saying, Oh my go? goodness, he looks go? bad. We are looking at President Trump. This does not look good. I'm going to be honest with you from what we can see right here. It looks like they are attempting to move him out that he may have been injured. 
What? Oh my he gosh, is she's bleeding. He is pumping his fist, but clearly oh. Secret Service wants to get him out of this situation. Once again, why are they Someone just tried to so assassinate long? Donald Trump. I'll show you the video here in a few seconds. If you look at his ear right here, you can notice some blood. He was at a rally in Pennsylvania. And then you start hearing shots being fired. All of a sudden you see him grab the side of his ear, fall to the ground. Secret Service jumped on top of him. Um, I'm not aware of his condition right now, but based on this photo, he looks like, it just looks like he got clipped in the ear. There's blood running down his face. Um, it's absolutely wild. I'm gonna play the video here in a second, but regardless of your politics, uh, this man did run the country. I don't even know what to say. All right, here's a video. Months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. As you see in the video, there's a few shots fired, then he grabs his ear, falls to the ground. Um, but this was taken after, and you know, I'm praying for his recovery. And also, this is the most like badass picture I think I've ever seen. It, it kind of is. It kind of is. This is just giving me a vibe like it's going to be on the new quarters. Like we're just going to see that on the new quarters. We're just going to have a statue like that. Yeah, I'm I'm at all. I'm at all with this stuff. See something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Look at the people. Look at the people. Come on, America. Come on, America. Look at the man. Oh. Sir, who are you? We need your name. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. What in the Frito fuck is going on? I'm speechless, y'all. Please, I want to hear you guys in the comments. I know it's, it may get ugly, but it's the uh, most appropriate time for that. So, like, we can get into it. I don't mean, like, as in, in arguing and fighting, but, like, let's get into it. Let's get into the conversation. So, you know how everyone thinks Donald Trump is going to die on August 27th? Here's some proof it might be true. And credits to the original, she's an absolute genius. I'll put her at in the caption, so go check out her video. So Trump's brother died August 15th, 2020. We know this. And we also know that the last time Trump saw him was Friday, which was the 14th. Now, how long does it take for you to get COVID? The cause of death for his brother was never announced, but lots of people are assuming it could be COVID. And we know the Simpsons have predicted so many things that have actually come true. Now from the 14th, which was the last time Trump saw his brother, to the 27th, it's about 13 days, which is crazy. And as we all know, Trump is in his 70s and COVID affects the elderly more. So did the Simpsons <laughs> predict something Sorry, right again? Funny. So these videos coming up is more so of like some predictions and things that happened in the past kind of leading up to 2024 because as you guys know and you the people that are familiar with some of the predictions it did state that Mr. T would fall in the year 2024 um so we are just going to look at some of the things that kind of led up to this let's kind of decipher it throw some ideas around and just talk about it yo Trump just got shot Trump just got a shot. Shots fired, mate. They took him away. His ear, ear was mm. bleeding, bruv. Yo, what the frick? That's crazy, bruv. Wait, do you think it's real? Or could it be fake? Do you think they just faked all that? Just to get the sympathy. Ah, oh, see, the world is after him. Oh, look at this victim. This is the guy they're trying to take out. He must be telling the truth. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, nobody behind him got hurt, right? And it's just a little bit of blood on his ear. So I think one person did. Involved? I don't know. I think I'm I'm just overthinking this right now because this is crazy, bro. I mean, if this was a Biden supporter that did this, then what the hell would Biden get out of this? Because this is just going to give him more sympathy. I mean, jokes aside, bro, I just noticed this guy holding up the sign. You're fired. Like, that's that's really appropriate for what it's just... He literally is fired. Man, this is just crazy, though, right? Trump got his shot, but nobody else got hurt. Um, I'm glad nobody got hurt, by the way. Yeah, don't take it the wrong way, but... What do you guys think of this, man? I believe allegedly one person did get 
unalived. But you're telling me all of those pop, pop, pops went off and nobody else got even grazed. I'm, I'm just speaking from observation. I'm not a professional. Obviously, I don't know what all happened. I was not there. But just looking at the video, looking at the people, as well as security taking him, the panic just wasn't there for me. And maybe because we are desensitized i mean i don't know about you guys how would you react in this type of situations all right so a psychic went on fox news to predict trump's 2024 and you guys gotta see this let's do just one card we like that one uh oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What is that? I, I mean, I, I, I do recognize that I'm at, I'm at Fox TV. I have <laughs> a sense of loss, a sense of loss, but it, it's very specific. No, 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 no let, let, let me move on. <laughs> she didn't predict that wig slipping, but that's another story. America, take a good look at your beloved candidates. They're nothing but hideous space reptiles. <laughs> It's true. We are aliens. But what are you going to do about it? It's a two-party system. You have to vote for one of us. He's right. This is a two-party system. Well, I believe I'll vote for a third-party candidate. Go ahead. Throw your vote away. <laughs> All hail. President K. If there is an election, this is going to make or break the rest of our time here. I mean, I don't even know how it's going to make it unless we have a miracle. And I feel like we, it's just a 99% chance it's going to be the break of this country. I'm just truly worried for the state of our society. Um, in this country, as well as what is going on outside right now, there's so much. I'm not sure what the next steps are going to be and what is going to come about of all this. Um, I mean, I know Trump's people are going to be fired up and so much more motivated to do whatever they've been wanting to do, as well as maybe going after the president. Are the repercussions going to be on the people? Are the repercussions going to be on the current presidents? Is it going to be like an eye for an eye? What is going to happen, you guys? I can't believe we are here today experiencing this. I feel like our generation has been through so much. Other generations, they have been through like a few things, but we have been through it all. And I'm talking about every year or every two years, we're just going through it. At this point, we are so traumatized and desensitized that it's almost as if we're living in a movie and we can't take things seriously. Like we don't have the mental capacity to keep experiencing these events. Anyways, you guys, that is the end of the compilation. Prayers goes out to all the people, to the world, to both parties, to both families, to any of the people that did get hurt in any way, physically or emotionally. I want to hear you guys in the comments. Thank you for stopping by. You know you guys mean the world to me. I will see you next time and I hope that we have a better day tomorrow.